it's beer and food o'clock on the Little Craft Beer. Today we've got a bag of Seabrook's Fire Eaters Smoking Hot Smokehouse Cain flavour. This is a four chilli rating on these crisps, 150 grams. After eating them crazy Trinidad Scorpion flavour crisps just the other day, these should be a little bit cooler. Uh, we're going to be again pairing it with a Brag de Tweet Dolls. This is their Blueberry. It's an ale at 4.6% ABV, a golden ale with a silver bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. A light golden coloured ale. It's not bottle conditioned. I don't believe so anyway. It's quite clear, very clear to look at. Good levels of carbonation with a one to two finger. White head. Let's get the aroma. Biscuity. Toffee malt coming through. Some nice hop quality. It smells pretty good. Let's try these crisps. Hopefully not as hot as them. I'll show you now these Trinidad Scorpion Chili Crisps. They were absolutely mind-blowingly hot. I don't know how I'm going to eat the rest of that bag. Uh, two crisps was enough for me. Let's look at them. Again, loads of, loads of flavour on them. Here we go. Mmm. Oh. They are lovely. Oh, they are lovely. Oh, they've got a lovely burn. Like a barbecue beef, smokehouse, steak, rib, that sort of flavour crisp. But with a lovely burn on the back end. It's not too crazy. It really isn't too crazy. Mmm. I'm going to say that's within my Richter scale, my range of heat. I think any more and it would become uncomfortable. Like the Trinidad Scorpion Chili. They were insane. I just, I rubbed my eye after eating them the other day. And yeah, I had to more or less get some eye wash and clean my eye out. They were very uncomfortable to eat. These on the other hand, it is, there is a burn building and building and building. It is creeping towards the very edge of my comfort zone. But it's not breaking my concentration. It's not breaking my, my conversation with you guys. Mmm, really crunchy potato. Let's see how it goes with the beer. Mmm. I bought these crisps in the pound shop. I hope that doesn't mean because they're in the pound shop, they've been discontinued. That flavour there, that smokehouse cayenne flavour, would be a crying shame if they were discontinued because they were people found them too hot. Yes, it's 
it's making me kind of breathe a little heavier and and it is slightly making me feel a bit tacky it feels like my pores are opening but it's within a level of the Richter zone without making me want to scream and go crazy like I was doing the other day and the beer Superb beer, uh, nice levels of carbonation, uh, just an easy drinking beer, uh, biscuity malty. There is some toffee in there, not diacetyl, just some nice toffee flavours and a nice hop finish on the back end. It goes really well with these crisps. I can imagine finishing that bag and finishing these be this beer. Let's rate it. Uh, based in Traforest, South Wales, they've used mosaic and citra hops, and they've called it blueberry because of this. The hops notable for their fruity blueberry-like aroma. The beer is good enough for an eight out of ten. The crisps; these are absolutely terrific. The crisps, oh. Mmm, really, really good. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. If you remember just the other day, I couldn't even... The, the Trinidad Scorpion Chili. I'll tell you what. Have a look at the colour of them. The colour of the Scorpion Chili compared to the... See the difference? These are crazy. These are absolutely bonkers, bonkers full on. Oh. Yeah, a different level of spice. I couldn't even, I couldn't get to the stage the other day. I've got to be quick with this now before it burns my face off. I couldn't get to the stage the other day to actually rate them crisps I was in so much pain. I couldn't rate the beer, I couldn't rate the crisps. It was a complete mess. At least I've rated these today. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, and cheers.